bit of, <clears throat> a little bit of a nice fog out this morning. Uh, it's minus 25 to or something like that. My phone said 25. So gonna be chilly checking traps this morning, but fun, fun, fun. Good morning, guys. Uh, we're just getting stuff set up, but we're just gonna take the four wheeler. Uh, the screw's gotta go to the shop because it's leaking gas. And uh, well, my throttle cable, I gotta hold it wide open to uh, get it going. I'm just gonna try the four wheeler again. I doubt it'll start, but yeah, no, she's not gonna start today. It's uh, minus 26, 27 out. But uh, I always keep a Fisher, Martin, whatever box here at the lake. And a uh, shit ass catch on them, but Fisher number two for the season. So we'll take that. I'm almost thinking Katie came and finished them off for me. And because of where the trap is, I won't be. Oh, I think it's a male. Nice. A little juvenile male. Miss Katie's not so sure. Hey, what do you think? Come here. Have a sniff. No? There you go. Anyways, we'll get them out of the trap. Uh, they're still bait in the box. So I'll get that reset. And uh, we'll carry on. We'll go check out the line. Uh, I guess I'm walking a good section of it today because I don't have a, a ride while I'm out there. Looks like they did some more cutting on my line. Uh, they did that side of the highway. I don't know how far back they went. Which I actually can't complain about because I wanted to cut a trail through there anyways and they just did it for me. And then they did this side as well. fresh beaver bait and gusto to this set as it needs rebaited.
had that cubby there last year. This year I decided to just put a box in this location. Some of you guys might recall last year somebody built a shelter down under there. I'm gonna just have a quick look. Oh, it looks like they've been back again. Now there's electrical tape. <laughs> No bear, that's too bad. <laughs> Mr. Bunny is playing with fire. Awfully rude of him. Looks like he's been going in and out of there too. <laughs> well, uh, put some bait in the back since it's out. And, uh, yeah. Chunk of beaver. Three thirty Belial. I was in front. Gusto on top and dripping down the side. I think you can see the layer of ice there. That's because the last time, <coughs> excuse me, the last time I was out here, I uh, went to cross here and the ice was not nearly as solid as I thought. And it broke out from underneath me. I didn't get wet, but came awfully close. But it's been uh, below freezing all week. And so everything's nice and solid now. Certainly seeing plenty of sign. Here's a fisher's track. Appears to be running off that way someplace. Uh, shame we wouldn't walk to my Martin box or my fisher box, whatever the hell you want to call it, my bait box. Because really all of mine are generic, whether a fisher or a Martin go walking into it don't matter much to me I'll take whatever's stupid enough to get caught have to admit it's been a while since I went for a good old hike like this feels great plenty of fresh air I'll probably sleep like the dead tonight <laughs> you can see Following a set of tracks along the way. Uh, my lynx cubby up ahead it doesn't have any bait in it because they kept stealing it. So I'll rebait it when I get there. And uh, I'm about halfway now, I got about three kilometers to go. At least the walking's nice and easy. Plenty of bunny sign. Something across the road there. Sorry for the shakiness. You're on my head. And uh, yeah, 
the head moves a lot. I don't like using my chest mount because then my arms block the view. But uh, the head mount works great, except for the shakiness. And I don't know how well you can hear me up there. I'm sure it's fine, but who knows. Any guesses what made this sign? Okay, so I'm at the Martin box where I, uh, that's a cool looking tree, uh, <laughs> sorry, where I set that lynx snare the other day down in there. Uh, it doesn't look like Mr. Lynx has come back, which is kind of funny. Um, the weasels are having the feast of a beaver, but I put fresh bait and fresh gusto on the box and in the box. So uh, hopefully a Martin or a Fisher comes around and hopefully that Lynx comes back. That's disappointing. I was sure as shit he would be here. Well, I guess nothing's ever 100%. Hey guys, uh, just coming in to the uh, Martin box that's in the tree over there. I don't know if you can see anything, but I see fur. And here I thought I was about to get skunked out this way today. Um, oh, and my legs are burning. Uh, that snare's still set, but there are tracks in here. So what appears to be a little bunny for sure and apparently well maybe a martin let's see what else yeah box near there still set ow uh, that snare still set There's Mr. Martin. Nice 
nice dark one. Frozen in the trap. We'll take that though, eh? Martin number three for the year. Uh, that snare's still set. That snare's there, still set. Those two are still set. So, no fox, but a Martin. I'll take that. Uh, got a Martin and a Fisher so far today. To go with my long ass hike. And I still got, uh, now I've still got three more Martin sets to check. And, uh, I'm just going to take this one with me. I'm going to come back and reset it later. I'm after walking that trail. Just way too tired right now to go get my other trap and walk back in here and bring my bait back and all that fun stuff. So, cool. I'll take that. Oh, this looks like there's another one running around here though. And the bait is gone. So next time I come out on Friday, I'll reset all this. And uh, that is a beauty dark Martin. It's almost black. Real dark brown on them. Nice catch. We'll take that. So yeah, we'll uh, scoot on out this way. Hold the top of the snare. He went around it. And hopefully next time I come, we'll have another one. Obviously there is another one in here because those tracks, as you can see, are fresh and he had snow on them. So, that tells me that there's one more running around. Uh, guess I should see if it's a he or a she. A he, nice. All three Martins so far this year are all males. That's what we want. We want the guys. Females get to stay, hopefully get to stay, and won't walk into the trap, but hey, okay. another look at them. Alrighty, there's a truck, we're headed that way, and uh, we'll see you guys at the next set. That's a 160. Got him by midsection and the tail, which is unfortunate because he's going to lose the tip. Well, tip of his tail is holding on by a thread. Well, that's a decent way to finish off the day. Martin and that weasel. Uh, the last set had nothing. I rebaited the Martin box and uh, we'll uh, carry on. There's plenty of fox tracks around it. Just uh, nobody got caught. So that's all right. I also threw a beaver carcass here just to help uh, bring in more fox. So I know they run the road I'm not far from that dump site, so or from the dump. So it should be a good set location. We'll just wait and see what happens. And uh, if anything, I probably have to put out another 20 snares, which eventually I'll do just. Not today because I'm already running out of time and after that 12 kilometer walk, 6 kilometers one way, 6 kilometers back, uh, I'm pooched. So we'll go get everybody thawed out and uh, tomorrow I'll bring the uh, skidoo to a shop and get it looked at and I'll uh, do some skidding in the afternoon. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, thanks for coming along and uh, Happy trapping, and we shall see you next time.